Welcome back, guys, to Trails to Azure, where last episode, our fight through the Red Constellation's forces stationed in Michelin Wonderland continued while Zeit distracted a number of their troops in his true form. Battling through the remnants to reach the manor the McDowells are being held within and defeating Randy's old Jaeger comrade, Zax, to gain entry. We now continue inside. No one's here. Actually, I can sense a presence. Same here. I don't think we're dealing with a monster or a person. <laughs> Intruders detected. Energy signature detected. 12 o'clock. So this is what they left for us, huh? Six targets confirmed. Three targets confirmed as members of the SSS. One target confirmed. A second lieutenant seeker of the CDF. Two targets remain unknown, both of whom will combat capabilities estimated at class A or higher. What? Machine can detect that. Deploying Izayoi units. <laughs> Regan got marked to uh, Muramasa. Now engaging extermination mode. <laughs> Here they come. Weapons up, everyone. They can detect their combat level too. I don't think Loy strats will probably work on this. I mean, I can always give it a go, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna. Big enemies usually don't get moved. Arts casting. Let's try to look at who's in the queue here. I'll move you, because I think Wazi has an MP. But the question is, could I hit? Oh, I could. In fact, Wazi can hit everywhere. Okay, Lloyd strats might not work, but if the boss attacks me, it's, it's, it's gonna happen. Okay, that's terrible. I have an uh, impede on you, right? Bit worried about this. As things go, can't power smash anyone. Uh, I can just can't even attack you normally. I can salamander you. I could try for death storm, or I could just move out of the way. Zero impede. Uh oh. Big earth spells. I think I moved out of range of Tio, actually. <laughs> so I guess it wasn't that bad, but... Lloyd can get that one. You're not going to give us a good time here, are you? We've got a critical coming up as well. Okay, I can't debuff at all. An updated model of Archaism for ground combat has enhanced boost functionality. Of course you hit that one. I think it's best to let Lloyd impede this one. Is it? Oh, it's probably better for me to split up than not. At the moment, they get us in a line pretty damn easily, don't they? You're a very annoying thing. Did you know that? <laughs> hey, Lloyd goes at least faster than one of our dudes. I could Trinity card one. I haven't got a scan on either yet. An updated archaism that supports Muramasa. Its repair ornaments have been markedly improved. Can be 80 delayed. Heavily pushed into the corner. Everyone kill Lloyd Day, is it? 
Well, I know what I kind of need to do here. And I kind of wish that there was he was a bit closer. You're the one with the water spells, so... I'm not enjoying these dudes. <laughs> oh, you can make more of them. Why wouldn't you be able to make more of them? I guess I'll impede this guy as well. I now suddenly wish I had a water ability that could hit everywhere, because I'm guessing the small guys are very weak to it as well. This guy's 135. Yeah, 155. Five. Okay, so this will come off before anything happens, so I'll hydro cannon on that line. Okay, that guy's dead before he gets to cast. Fine. Uh. What else do I want to do here? More buff to you, more spell power. I haven't really got to start work on the boss. Yeah. I mean, that's good damage then, mate. Right? I mean, that's what we call secured. Oh, so, yeah. Suddenly, free ads to zero oh, ads in the blink of an eye. It's me versus you, giant robot friend. I have hydro cannon as well, I just let it point out, but you'll get attacking next, so I'm just gonna punch you up a bit. Get in range. Successfully do damage to the boss. Uh, what do you think's more damage? Hydro cannon or diamond dust? I feel like the line does more damage. I kind of want to hit a Fortuna. On to Tio again. That Wazi moves into. Do you know what I mean? It's me. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Too much of a dream, I think. Enigma. I mean, you have a sky for that. We're gonna boost our damage slowly but surely. And so it begins. Chance. Oh. Hi. Ah. Okay, we're gonna need to take that out. Optical cloak? Rude! Very rude. Where'd the boss go? Yari yari indeed. This is very yari of the yari. I don't even know what to do when you think about it now. You've, uh, you've lost me.
What even is a good method to progress from here? I'm guessing he's coming out of it in a second, though. Oh, there he is. So we... He's got missiles. Did he get most of his HP back? And he's got regen. Is this guy just meant to pee me off? <laughs> and last forever or something? Until the end of time, I will be alive to torture you in myriad ways. Lost my strength buff. <laughs> Let's try this again. I probably should heal Lloyd. I've got a whole tear for you, buddy. Oh, wait, that was like quite a lot of HP. And I mean, that guy's been called right in range by the look of it, so. See who gets to go before. That's great for me. Do I need Fortuna yet? I mean, I think keeping the buff up is probably better than not. Can I have a water bell, please? I've successfully got the boss away because he's chosen to come here. So that's great. But I don't know if these guys line up. Oh, they do. Excellent. <laughs> well, that guy's dead. So we don't even have to care about him again. Wait, who's attacking who? Is he attacking Lloyd? <laughs> sure, you do you, I guess. My name is Lloyd, and I am just here to exist. <laughs> More spells! More spells! He goes invisible. Oh no, last disaster critical, got him. <laughs> That stealth was very irritating. No, oh, I was about to say, don't self-destruct, <laughs> Lloyd's there. <laughs> I think he had an adamantine guard, though. That's a lot of experience. What level was it? I didn't even check. Oh, let's see how many people level up. Most of them. Noel, Randy, Lloyd, and Tio. No new abilities learned. Even our courses are creeping up to the next level. That was a bit of a long sequence, wasn't it? Oh, this thing really meant business. Ouroboros and its mechanical pawns are certainly formidable. Let's burn it lightly. It's even stronger than the hunk of junk we form of Asha's old digs. Must be one of the ones that were modified by that professor of the societies. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, it looks like we're all clear. Our top priority is searching for Ellie and speaking McDowell. Then... What? Why you? Ah, God! Ah, oh, damn things out of control. Of oh, what? <laughs> Dodge, guys! No, Lloyd! 
I don't think so. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, it did have a self-destruct. <laughs> Phew. Perfect timing. Ellie. It is Ellie. <laughs> Guess you didn't need our help after all. So, uh, this isn't exactly how I pictured things would go. I prefer it this way. But that doesn't matter. Thanks for having my back, Ellie. You saved me. Ah. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. But you're okay. You really came for me. I thought that I, that I might never see you again. Ellie, I came for you last. Well, this is awkward. So, so, um, should we give them some privacy, or...? I get the sense they forgot that we were even here, which is good, because no jealousy can reign. Seems you weren't the only one longing for Loy's tender embrace, hmm, Tio? I have no recollection of what you are referring to. Huh? <laughs> Happy you're okay too, but their stares are getting kind of hard to ignore. Uh, hold on a second. I it's not what it looks like. That archism put Lloyd's life at risk. I just got a bit carried away by that, is all. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, mademoiselle. But I... I'm telling you the truth here. Tio, Noel, you understand what I mean, don't you? Y yeah sure. I will endeavor to try. Oh, help me out here, Risha. Wait. What, why the what is Risha with you? Or Noel, for that matter. And what exactly is Wazi wearing? <gasps> <laughs> we have a lot to catch up on. So it would seem. Oh, Jonah's here too. Speak McDowell, are you alright? And Jonah? What's up guys? Long time no see ya! Man though, you're really bailing us out here, you know? Jonah was brought here by Belle not long after we were. I assume she got tired of him continually trying to hack into Orcus Tower's central mainframe. That Belle of yours is a freaking witch lady! How cruel do you have to be to lock up THE Jonah Sacred without an orbital net connection? Why am I a caveman? <laughs> that explains that. For a shut-in like you, she may as well have been starving you to death. And what say we leave the details for later? After all, I presume you'd rather take this time to rescue us first. Right, we're here to break you out. So if it's alright with you, can we get to making our escape now? Of course. The time for neutrality has passed. We are long overdue, f overdue for someone to speak out against this mess. That's right. Alright then, we should split before my uncle's goons come barging him. Let's secure our escape route and get back to the Merc Harbor, post haste. Afterward, the SSS escaped to the Merc Harbor with Zeit, who had been busy distracting the enemy amidst the chaos. With his aid, the group managed to escape Michelin before the Red Constellation's reinforcements arrived. And then... And you're certain you want to go through with this, Speaker McDowell? Well, it is doubtful that my words will resonate with all the citizenry. But nevertheless, I firmly believe it will be impossible for us to move forward as a state if we don't take action now. Even if this decision does cost us our order and hegemony, short-lived as it may be. It's true. A declaration of invalidity toward the independent state of Crossbell. The only one of us who could possibly pull that off is Crosbell's former mayor turned speaker. Yes, but how will the announcement be made to the Republic? Good question. There's no point if the message doesn't reach the citizens or the Defense Force. Jonah has an idea regarding that. There's a signal booster at Tangram Hill. It was set up to test Crosbell's wireless orbital network connectivity with Leman. Get us there and I should be able to hack it. I can keep the channel open for about 10 minutes, so keep your speech under that. And we're golden. 
I'm a little lost here, but does that mean we can take over those monitor cars that are parked all over the city? Yes, and I can get the message broadcast to the Defense Forces terminals as well. That will allow us to meet the conditions Commander Bell's laid out for us. If the President's authority is challenged, the Defense Force should withdraw and adopt a wait-and-see approach. That would make moving about the state significantly less cumbersome for us. Lloyd. Listen well, Lloyd. That we declare Crossbell's independence invalid is merely a suggestion, not an ultimatum. As our faction's leader, we can set the idea aside if you are against it. No, there won't be any need for that. Once upon a time, Dita told us about his con conception of justice while he was still only the CEO of the IBC. Humankind are creatures that will to our dying breath chase after the ideal of justice. Justice is the foundation of society, something that people can believe in. Political corruption, the criminal underworld. Even if the police cannot tame them, the economic prosperity we currently experience allows our citizenry to live their lives in relative comfort. But an unseen evil still spreads across our land, and sensing it, people seek justice. From the very core of their being, they silently cry out for it. Because no matter what shape or form justice takes, people will always pursue it, just as they pursue the security that comes with society itself. That is why I expect great things from you. You may be the lasting cure Crossbell needs. It's clear to me that you four are pursuing justice in your own way. I think it's important you demonstrate that to the people, so they can see it for themselves. Those were Dieter's words. Kinda ironic, thinking back on it. Feels like a lifetime ago, despite it not even being a full year. Regardless, that's what the President said, line for line. I couldn't say whether he meant any of it, or if he was just telling us what we needed to hear. Either way, we can't deny that it had a profound impact on us. I agree. It's an interesting way to spin it, I'll give him that. Yeah, this time I'm going to turn his own words against him. For our sake, and his. Most importantly, to give the citizens and the CDF the chance to think for themselves. Very well. I'll take his words under consideration and deliver an answer to them in my declaration. That would be great. We're really doing this, then. Uh-huh. Now that we have a game plan, all we got to do is iron out the details. Jonah, Fran, we're going to need your help with tech support. Aye, aye. Sure, I got you covered. The group then worked out the specifics of their plan to have Speaker McDowell formally declare the independent state of Crosbell invalid. For their part, Jonah and Fran evaluated the prospects of hacking into the Orbital Network to broadcast the address. All that remained was to decide when to strike. You know, it's just starting to hit me how far we've come in this short amount of time. You're right. It's easy to forget that this is still the same little crossbell we've been working to defend all year. Indeed, though, what's happening right now affects more than just the state. Zemuria as we know it is shifting. What we're experiencing now could very well be a turning point in history. Ellie, you're still struggling with the fact that you'll be opposing Mariabel and President Kreuz, aren't you? I can't hide that, can I? Despite what they've done, it doesn't change that we've been like family for years. There's even a small part of me that can sympathize with their ambitions from a political standpoint. I can't fault you for that. In their defense, they're not the only folks out there with a sordid rap sheet. The Blood and Iron Chancellor, for example. Yes, but even so, I want to make myself perfectly clear. No matter what happens, I'm a part of the special support section. If nothing else, I know for a fact that will never change. You, you mean it? Ellie. Look at you being a team player, mademoiselle. What happened to all that talk about the CBD being a temporary gig? I'll admit that's how I saw it when we first started. But I was no match for you all. At this point, the SSS is where my heart will always be. No matter which path I take in the future, everything I do will be built on the foundation of what I've learned from the time we spent together. Well put. I feel exactly the same way. I guess we all got pretty lucky that the Chief ever started up this crazy division. Oh, wait. Come to think of it, the SSS was all your brother's idea, wasn't it? I guess it was. I don't think even he could have imagined what it would become. We're going to solve this case and take Kia back. In a way, maybe that's what fate brought the SSS together to do. Our ultimate purpose. But we're past the point of grasping for straws and looking for reasons. We're going to save her and we'll do it as a team. Every step of the way. For the sake of 
of what matters most to us. We'll forge ahead, come what may. Right. We'll also have to get in touch with the chief. Our team isn't complete without his biting wit. Ah, uh, you can say that again. Ellie has joined the party. And let the S-Craft Divine Crusade. I mean, sure? With Ellie's inclusion, the number of party members now exceeds the maximum of six. Please reselect which six characters will comprise your party. Oh. I don't know. Lloyd, Ellie, 2, and Randy cannot be removed from the party. We are forced. Well, to be honest, I think, like, the best party is this now. Which means Rishi gets sidelined. Your, your sideline abilities don't actually seem that good, by the way. Hi, I've jo I'm the legendary assassin with more power than you could ever know. No, get, get bench. <laughs> it's like, what? We've got Rouse Rid of Hotness. From now on, you'll be able to reorganize your party and switch our active members by speaking with a bus on the bridge. To advance the story, select the booster site location on the far east side of the Merkaba's navigation map. Okay. Depending on what to do, when, where, what, when, wow, wow, why, we better check if there's any dialogue with places at this point in time. If if Arisha finally wants to see Ilya, among other things like sorting out the corpses, for our newest member. I don't know if this is still the best for you, but. It's pretty good. It's not that bad, after all. We know what you're doing, Melee. Stop with this stupidness. Okay. We will have... The Jupiter Bell. Can act immediately after using Win Art. Sounds amazing. To me, at the very least. We, of course, need cast, etc. So it'd be good if we had, like, one water-type one in this slot, maybe. Whatever is the highest value, anyway. Which could be the water gem, weirdly. Move that. Scent has good value. And I guess it's like... No, oh, we need another cast, too. Don't worry, we've got the person for that. I'll be learning a hand with the hacking process from that terminal over there. The orbital network's a little outside my area of expertise, but I can at least help with the Merkaba's system structure. The girls will return to have a mission to fulfill too, so I'll lend a hand in whatever way I can. First of all, I don't know... Well, we've probably upgraded everyone's slots now. Yeah! We just need to cast too. We need another EP cut. Let's get that first of all. Cast two. Maybe switch that for EP Cup three then. Can I get one? I do have enough. My money. I think that's the uh, the largest amount of value we can get down this line, I would say. Uh, before we put the last slot in, let's figure out what you've got going on here. So, Ellie has heals. No, that's, that's Lloyd. Good job. Okay, Ellie does have heals. She has holy breath. We have Act Mirage too, so we've got another person who can do the dodge stuff, Cobalt Sophia. We got Recuria, nice. Chrono down, Chrono Drive. Got Fortuna, A Reflex, Art Reflect. Uh, we don't have thingy, but we got we got up to Diamond Dust somehow. Probably because of the scent. It's not bad. We got up to Thunder Cyclone now, which we didn't have before. Spark Dime for single target. Thunder Cyclone for multi target. Got up to Death Spiral. And nothing past that. Let's 
seems pretty good. And that Jupiter Bell means we can immediately act after using Wind Arts. Which is kind of cool. No more waiting. So what do I want as like a last one? I mean, that's got a lot of value to it. I mean, I guess I could use the Onyx Gem. Give her loads of extra speed, but she doesn't actually have to move anywhere because she's going to be casting, right? This is where, like, things get fired here and we're going, Ah! How do I get her moved? Nope. Not possible. Moving is... Not in your wheelhouse, let's put it that way. It was not for you. Right, so we have someone who can cast some really big, uh, big spell there. Not so much in the other kind of spell side, actually. I almost think that maybe I've got too much. There's 21 and 11. We've got 8, 16. Oh, it's 22. So it's like we could only just reach it, yeah. Bit of a shame, that, but that's sometimes the way it works. And Arts Effects range is actually a good one to have in. I mean, I could have put a mind gem there. Increasing your ATS further would just make you more powerful, of course, instead of the speed. But I feel like the speed is pretty good, too. I don't think it gets you anything extra, but it's nice that we got you some other abilities. You're the only one with Adamantite Guard. I guess we'll see what we get in the future. That might change some of the values we have on some guys here, there, and everywhere. Looking good. All right, let's talk through the Makaba. When I first arrived in this state as Yin, I never imagined myself fighting to save it. Maybe it's too late for me to be having this realization, but I'm starting to feel like this role is one I don't deserve. However, the fates of Crossbell and Arkansiel are one and the same. I'll protect them both with everything I have. Once we broadcast the Declaration of Inv Invalidity. Invalidity. It's, it's easy to say invalid for me, but not invalidity. For some reason, that's hard to say for me. The CDF should pull back to see how things play out. The Red Constellation, though, they're in Dita's pockets, so they're not going to give a rat's ass one way or another. Hell, it might even give them an excuse to start playing hardball. And that's saying something compared to what they've already done. Point is, we've got to be on guard for anything. 